Today we're going to learn how to create skin tear effect in Photoshop. This is a really easy effect to create, so let's get started. So here is in Photoshop we have this image to work with. If you want to follow along with this tutorial, I'll leave a link of this image down below. Now the first this we're going to do is duplicate our image layer two times. So with our image layer selected, we'll press Command or Control J twice. So I'm going to call this top one to face and the bottom layer to background. Now, with my face layer selected, I'm going to go and access my quick selection tool, and then in the option bar, we're going to press select subject. This will automatically create a selection of your subject. Now to remove the background, we're going to add a layer mask to our face layer. So now, if I'm just viewing that one layer, it is on a transparent background. Now go on to the next step, which is removing our subject from the background. To do that, we need to first create a selection of our subject once again, but we've already done that. So to save time, if you hold Command or Control and click on your face layer mask, it will reactivate that selection. Here we can use Content Aware Fill to remove the subject super easily. But before we do that, we first need to expand the selection. We can do this using the Select menu and choosing the Modify and then Expand option. I will expand the selection by 80 pixels. The reason we're expanding the selection is to avoid leaving any of the subject's outline when we remove it. Then with the background layer selected, Go to Edit menu, go down here to Fill, and then Content Aware. Click OK. This is a good starting point, but there is a problem in the background. To fix that, I'll use the Patch tool. Make a selection around the area that we don't want, and then click and drag and find a new area. And I will repeat this process for other areas as well. All you need to do is click and drag for a new source. Now we have everything ready, we can move on to the next main step and create our skin tear effect. Select the face layer. Let's drag this panel a little bit more. Now right click on the selected layer mask thumbnail and choose apply layer mask. Now we are going to cut off this face from the center. So I'm going to use rectangular marquee tool to do that. Make a selection of the face that we want the skin tear effect on. Then press the delete key. Press Command D or Control D to deselect. Next, we will need to duplicate this layer by pressing Command or Control J. This top layer is going to be our front skin tear, and this bottom layer is going to be our back skin tear. Let's hide this bottom layer temporarily and focus on the top layer we will work on. So with that top layer selected, go to Filter menu and down to Liquify. Make sure that this top Liquify brush is selected, and we're just going to click and drag down. Something like this. Maybe this one comes down a bit more, so we'll make it feel as random as possible. You don't need to be precise here. Just click and drag. Same process for the bottom area as well. You just have to click and drag to up. Something like this is looking pretty good. Then we'll click OK. So here is our front face skin tear effect applied. Before moving on to next step, I want to take a quick moment to talk about our sponsor Wondershare Filmora 13. The latest version of Filmora 13 offers a lot of exciting new AI features, such as new AI music generator. This new AI feature enables you to create royalty-free music for your video. Just go to the AI music option. Under the tool section, you can generate music based on your video mood. You can set the duration of your audio and generate multiple music tracks. Filmora also has AI text to video feature. Click AI text to video on the main screen. Simply enter your script, choose a language, and select a voice. Filmora 13 will find footage from the stock library and create a video for you with subtitles and a voiceover. My other favorite feature is AI Thumbnail Creator. Once you have finished editing, click Export, and then under the thumbnail, click Edit. Filmora 13 provides a lots of pre-made thumbnail templates. Choose any of them. You can edit every element in any way you want. You will have countless options, so feel free to experiment and create captivating thumbnails for your video. Filmora 13 also has many other AI features, so download it today and expand your creativity. Now it's time to work with the back side of the face. I'm going to hide the front face layer for now and enable the back face layer. Now, repeat the same process on the back side as well. Go to Filter menu and then Liquify. Similarly, just repeat the same Liquify process. Make sure not to make exactly the same as the front face layer. Try to make it more random, so it won't overlap with front face skin. Looks good, click OK. Now, turn on the front face layer and then select the back face layer. Let's give it a dark shade, so we can give the illusion that it is behind the front face. Let's darken this layer with a level adjustment. Add a clipping mask by clicking this icon right here, and now it will only affect our back face layer bringing down that white output level until the back face looks nice and dark enough. Something like this. 
Let's add roughness to the edges. So first, I'm going to hover over my layer icon and press Command or Control and click to make a selection in the shape of the layer. And then click here to create a mask. And then with this mask selected, I'm going to go to Filter menu, Pixelate, Crystallize. I'm going to set this Crystallize filter to 6. You can add more Crystallize if you want more variation. Similarly, we will make a selection of the back face by holding down Command or Control key and clicking the thumbnail. Create a layer mask, and again, Crystallize. But if you don't want to go into the Crystallize, you can just apply the previous used filter. So there we go. As you can see, the skin looks flat and lacks thickness. So let's add some thickness with Bevel and Emboss. You can do that by going to Layer Style down here and then Bevel and Emboss. Before changing anything, let's reset our default Bevel and Emboss. Increase the depth for the moment. Decrease the size. Since the light source in our actual subject is coming from the left, let's move the light position to the left. You can increase the highlight opacity. Increase the shadow opacity as well. Now gradually increase the size amount. Two is fine. Lower the depth value and then hit OK. And there you go. That's how you create a skin tear effect in Photoshop. Thanks for watching today and I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you soon for another video.